cheers to the PGA and live tour. I <laughs> go figure. I don't know if I, I think I, I think I did a video on this previously and I said, I think they're going to merge. I may have said that. Maybe I said that in my head. I don't know. Uh, it, it was a previous video. I, I'm pretty sure I talked about it. And the Live Tour, if you guys haven't heard by now, if you're under a rock, the Live Tour is merging with the PGA. So the PGA has announced. Uh, I waited a couple of days. I, I wanted this to kind of digest. I wanted to see if there's going to be any other things that was going to come about. I uh, haven't heard anything that's going to be coming about, but... Greg Norman. I heard Greg Norman most likely might get swept out. The funny thing was he was the one who was kind of um, pushing for the live tour and they, you know, that they're going to overcome the PGA. He had, he had this griping thing with the PGA. So they're kind of pushing him to the sides. It's kind of uh, interesting to see how that's going and go figure, man. I, I can see right now Phil Mickelson having a drink. Brooks Kepka, Dustin Johnson having drinks like, yeah, mofos. That's why we took the money. Um, I don't think anybody knew. <laughs> Nobody knew that they were going to merge. People had, I, you know, inklings or or, or possibility that they were going to merge, but um, it kind of it, it resonates in regards to the NFL, the AFL. If, you, if you're that old, uh, I'm not even that old, but I do know a little bit of the history when they when they uh merged together back in the day so it kind of you know rings a bell in that sense and this is the thing i you know i feel it sucks because i feel like obviously politically wise and morally wise the live tour funding is probably not the best in regards to humanity in in regards to us. Um, I didn't. I don't want to go too deep in that shit, but you know, it kind of. I thought the PGA would have a little stronger stance and a little stronger backbone, and I thought they were gonna like go head to head with them. I didn't think they were gonna accept whatever the payment's gonna be. I don't know if we're ever gonna hear how much they got. Hopefully, we'll we'll find that out and. It was one of those things where it's it's hypocritical of the PGA. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure everybody knows the past year, two years, everybody, you know, Rory, poor guy, he stuck up, Tiger, poor guy, they all stuck up for the PGA and for the PGA to kind of turn their backs on them and saying, Hey, you know what? All that you guys done for the last year, two years that you guys stuck up for us, eh, F it. <laughs> we're gonna take the money and we're gonna merge together. So it kind of may it, it sucks, man, for those guys. Because I, I am a Rory fan and I am a Tiger fan. Uh, I I really wanted you know the PGA to do well, but there you guys go. Now there's a lot of rumors coming around. Who knows if this is true or not? But looks like Tiger. I think they offered. I think the Live Tour offered Tiger Woods anywhere up from 800 mil plus. A lot of people are like, oh, Tiger's rich. He doesn't need that money. Okay, first of all, guys, rich people are greedy. <laughs> Simple as that. People who have money, they're greedy. I don't care what you say. 800 million is still fucking 800 million, guys. If he, It could have been more than that. We don't know, but that's what everybody's saying. For him to turn that down, only for them to merge together anyway, so he kind of lost out on that. That's a lot of money. That is life changing. That is generational wealth for your children. Even though he's rich, I, he has generational wealth already. Don't get me wrong. But eight hundred million is still eight hundred million, guys. So I, I feel he kind of got screwed in that sense, you know, um, for sticking up for the PGA. Damn, that sucks, you know, because those other guys. Dustin Johnson, Brooks Koepka, um, Phil Mickelson, they they took the money. <laughs> they took the money, and then now they're back on the PGA, technically. So and they cashed in. And that's why my thoughts are you never count another man's money. I think Steph Curry said that. Uh, you never count another man's money. You never judge another man for what he decides to do to provide for his family. Um, I 
know way better now you never judge a person you never uh you you can have your own morals you can have your own you know high ground whatever you know you decide to do however never judge another man for what he's doing to provide for his family that's my thoughts but it's gonna be interesting um i was hoping the two tours the live and the uh, pga would go head to head because i believe competition breeds innovation and uh, i i felt like PJ was slowly going to innovate, change some things here and there. But now, since they're merging together, uh, I feel like innovation kind of, it really does because, you know, there's no competition. Once you come together, it's technically a monopoly or, you know, you're, you're just one entity. So there's no competition of how can we get better in, you know, certain aspects. So, but this was a needed thing by Liv. So I don't know if anybody knows, nobody still watches Liv. This is the thing, because I think they did a deal with uh, what you call that. Uh, um, I believe you can watch currently live on the CW. CW, that's it. Yeah, the CW channel. Uh, they had an agreement with them, but nobody watches CW to watch golf, guys. This is as simple as that. So ABC or not ABC, CBS, NBC now has the rights and you know ESPN in regard and the you know the the PGA channel the golf channel they're gonna get views and that i think that was the one thing that the live pretty much tour was wanting is that they're investing so much money into these players into this tour they weren't getting the views guys um it's hurt it was hurting their uh, the bottom line but now by merging with the pga uh big you know outlook they're gonna get a lot more views a lot more attention a lot more you know, pretty much consumers consuming their content, consuming the live tour. And who knows what it's going to look like in the next year or two? How are they going to combine? How is it going to work? Uh, it's going to be definitely interesting on that. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think after Brooks Kepka won uh, at the PGA Championship, it kind of put a, uh, I wouldn't say a fire underneath the PGA that, hey, we need to do something because we need to get the best players on our tour and the only way to do that was i guess in their eyes is to merge but like i said interesting interesting and i can't wait to see how this is going to turn out hey drama man golf's got a little bit of drama that's good right you know it in reality to get more attention more headlines it's always a good thing so we shall see how this is going to end up working for them and they're merging. So we shall see if this is a good thing or a bad thing. And at the end of the day, we will only know probably in about a year or two years once we see if there's any types of changes that's going to end up happening. So there you guys go. Kind of a little update on the live PGA tour. My thoughts at the end of it, uh, I think this was inevitable um two heads going together only merging together only becoming one big company i guess um i i, I kind of foresaw that i guess you can say i think a lot of people kind of did too and i do i think it's good or bad in my opinion this is my opinion i felt like the pj should have stood their ground i think they still had a good uh hold on the at least in America for sure uh of the viewerships and they had more say and more power I thought they should have stuck it out but who knows who knows what's gonna happen especially in that lawsuit a lot of people forget that lawsuit a lot of things were gonna have to come to light you know books were gonna have to be opened up a lot of things are gonna have to be opened up who knows if nobody wants anybody to see anything in this lawsuit so go take it for what it is other than that oh don't forget you guys like cards sports cards i have a ebay store go check it out my pop underscore cards uh, i got tons of tire wood cards lately i've been i've been uploading them so go take a look if you guys want other than that man if you guys like this shit subscribe <laughs>